Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Stuck at work by the nocturnal never dwell. I post at midnight. It's 7.31 p.m. And I am the last person in the office. But instead of leaving, I am standing in front of the elevator with a box of paper clips in my hand. Ready to go? Asks Ray. He's keeping the elevator door open for me. Behind him are Megan, Carla, and Marcos, all of whom look tired from working so late. The first time this happened, I opened my mouth to say yes and suddenly changed my mind. Then. I suddenly changed my answer as I remembered my resolution to lose a few pounds this year. Back then, I said, Ah, thanks, but I'll take the stairs. This time, I don't say anything. Suit yourself, Ray says anyway, as if I had spoken. He releases the door, but before it can close, I toss in the box. It lands on its corner, and the lid pops off, scattering its contents like a paperclip grenade. Then the door slides shut, and I'm alone again. No one in the elevator thought this was weird. In fact, they didn't even notice it at all. I've done this little experiment many, many times, so I'm not surprised that they didn't react. I'm also not surprised to look over and see the box of paper clips back on my desk, as if I'd never even touched it, much less thrown it. My other experiments end the same way. I've blocked the doors, I've shouted, I've begged, I've grabbed at Ray's arm, but nothing makes any lasting difference. My co-workers never respond, and everything resets right the way it was. I always end up alone in the office, at least until the elevator reappears, and Ray, once again, asks if I'm ready to go. I've gotten tired of experimenting, but there isn't much else to do around here. The phones and the radios and the fire alarms don't work, all the computers are frozen, I found a cheap romance novel in Megan's bottom drawer, but I know how it ends, I ought to. I've only read it 30 times. Even if I do actually take the stairwell, it turns into an M.C. Escher print. However many flights I descend or ascend, every door brings me right back here, to the 40th floor. Of course, I could always join my co-workers in the elevator. I remember once, when I was a kid, I was feeling morbidly curious, so I looked up elevator accidents, and I found out that they were incredibly rare. Elevators are probably the safest method of transportation in the world, since they basically cannot just go crashing into the ground. You're about a thousand times more likely to die on a staircase. <laughs> Even though... I know that. I also know this. Each time the elevator leaves, if I put my ear to the door, I can hear the receding screams of my co-workers echoing back up that shaft. And that's why it's always 7.31 p.m. Because I'm supposed to be with them. Looking up from the paperclip box, I see the elevators return. Ready to go? Asks Ray. Again. Eventually. I know I'll say yes. So stay scary, my wildlings. Realize that sometimes you're going to have to accept that if it's you versus the universe, and the universe decides it's your time to go, well... You're not going to beat the universe and make the most of your nights. <laughs>